Hi, it's me, your best friend. Today I'm going to be kind of a weeb, even though I'm not. Um, I just used to watch Toonami when I was a kid, um, because I was a kid when Toonami was on Cartoon Network <laughs> in the daytime, not when it became this Adult Swim thing. This was back a long time ago when it was like Sailor Moon, Dragon Ball Z, and Ravoni Kenshin when it was very censored for middle of the day. Kids TV. All of them were actually pretty censored. Um, but the one that I want to talk about is Sailor Moon. Because I have this kind of question regarding the morality or the realness of the friendships and other kinds of relationships in Sailor Moon. And this is in the, the anime and the manga. I never read the manga outside of a little bit when my sister had it, um, when my sister was still living here. I just read like small bits and pieces of it every here and there. But I did watch the vast majority of the dubbed anime. I think it was the Viz dub, <laughs> whichever dub it was that was on Toonami on Cartoon Network. My question is, so Usagi, Serena, is this reincarnation of Queen Serenity, and Throughout the series, she actually gets reincarnated a few times because they all die and then they come back and then they die and they come back. Um, I, I think it's at least twice. <laughs> but Usagi, who is Sailor Moon, gets reincarnated and every single time she is reincarnated into Queen Serenity. And she kind of is forced to conform to this role. Um, it has to be awakened in her, of course, by her cat, Luna. <laughs> um, but when she finally realizes who she is, she gradually conforms into this role of Sailor Moon or Neo Queen Serenity. And all the other, the same thing happens to all the Sailor Guardians or Scouts or Senshi or whatever you want to call them. They ultimately have their true self um, unlocked as they have this kind of pull towards Usagi and they don't really know why but they just feel like they should protect their princess. Um, this is all the inner senshi which is Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, and Venus and it makes me wonder if they are kind of doomed to realize who they who they are reincarnated from. They are kind of doomed to be this person with these feelings towards Usagi or towards any other person from their past life that has also been reincarnated into present day or the 80s or 90s or whatever it was that Sailor Moon originally was set. <laughs> so I wondered, is it real? Is their friendship real or were they doomed to be these people because before they like truly understood who they are like had their past unlocked they were people that were just living normal lives and without having that past unlocked they would have been free to do whatever they want have a romantic relationship with whoever they want be friends with whoever they want serve whatever moon princess they want but because they are reincarnations, they are kind of just doomed to have this sort of friendship with Usagi, the Sailor Scouts are. And it seems kind of weird to me. Like, they can't escape this fate of protecting her or being her friend. And a lot of the series focuses on, I'm going to protect my friends. But are these people really your friends? There isn't really, especially in the manga and in Crystal, they don't really form friendships. Based off of friendships that I've seen in other forms of media and in real life, they're not really friends. They're just kind of drawn to her to protect her. And then they're just labeled as friends. And I guess... Friendship is a pretty broad thing. It's a spectrum of, of types of attachment to people. But it seems 
more like they're doomed to protect her and the author um, Naoko Takeuchi kind of tries to to me she tries to pass it off as friendship and I'll fight for my friends when it doesn't come off that way to me it just comes off as a bunch of girls that are doomed they can't escape the fate of becoming the guardians of the moon princess it seems kind of empty and it also makes me wonder um, is Usagi her own person or is she the spirit of Neo Queen Serenity in some poor 14 year old girl's body that's doomed to fall in love with Endymion or Mamo or whatever you want to call him Tuxedo Mask, Tuxedo Common is she doomed to do that? Because before they're awoken, they're just these normal people that would have never been drawn to each other that way unless these old souls of the people that regenerated, reincarnated into them were unlocked. I feel like if you're doomed to become somebody you're doomed to be the reincarnation of this moon deity that you can't be unique. Your friendships can't be unique. They can't be real because you're just doomed forever to continue this thing that already was. And it doesn't change. Every single time they're reincarnated, they have the same sort of relationship with each other. And it seems kind of just sad. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I guess some people could say that as a great thing. Like, every single time they're reborn, they become friends again. It's so beautiful. But every single time they're reborn, they're a new person before they have their memories unlocked before they have their identity truly revealed to them from a cat. <laughs> so it just seems sad to me that they didn't have a chance to be their own person to create anything new. They just had to keep experiencing the same thing over and over again. And it seems less like a true friendship or a true romance in the case of um, Usagi and Mamoru. It just seems like a pull instead of reality. It just seems like a recreation of what already happened. And I don't know, in the in one of the crystal openings, there's a lyrics like no matter no matter how many lives I'll live, no matter how many times I'm reborn, I'll always love you. That doesn't, that seems more sad than romantic to me. I guess that could just be the arrow part of my identity speaking, but I don't know. It doesn't read like, I fight for my friends. It seems more like I'm doomed to fight for my friends instead of I willingly do this. It seems like I have to because this is who I was millenniums ago. <laughs> I don't know, does anyone else like think that way? Because I do. And if you think that way, let me know in the comments.